Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to talk about a workaround for the 20 upload limit that Cricut is imposing on Design Space. Now, with Access, if you pay for that subscription, you have unlimited uploads for your Cricut machine, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're somebody who doesn't upload a ton and you don't really want to pay that extra $10, maybe you have one month that you need to upload a lot, I'm going to show you guys a quick way that you can upload multiple SVGs all at once. So let's get started. You're going to need Inkscape, which you can download at inkscape.org. I'll link that down below for you guys. I'm excited to show you guys how to do this. On Friday, March 12th, Cricut had announced that they would be charging people and making them subscribe to their Cricut Access program in order to upload more than 20 items per month. Now that has been reversed as of Tuesday, March 16th, 2021, but it only goes through people who buy machines up through December 31st, 2021. So any machines or new accounts registered after that will be required to pay that $10 if they would like to upload more than 20 items a month. I still wanted to provide you guys with this tutorial that way you kind of had an idea of ways to get around that, but also it's going to make it a little bit easier when they implement the project collections because you'll be able to upload multiple images all at once and you'll be able to put that full bundle into your collection and then you can pull from those. So let's get started. It's really easy to do. To do this hack, you're going to want to start with Inkscape, which you can download for free at inkscape.org. This is a pretty simple process, so even if you're not really familiar with Inkscape, you should be able to do this no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a bunch of SVGs into one file on Inkscape. So all I did was found a set of SVGs that I wanted to use multiples of. I'm using this sunflower bundle that I got from Design Bundles. If I can find it, I will link it below because they are really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm just making this a little smaller so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this image, this SVG, which shows it as a Microsoft Edge document, and I'm just going to drag it and drop it into my Inkscape. I'm going to do that for all of these. So you should be able to just hit hold shift, select all of them, and then drag all of them over. It might take a second for them to all move because there are quite a few of them. Now I'll go back over to Inkscape. What I want to do is size these down so that they're not quite so large because they're really, really big right now. So what I'm going to do is hold control on my keyboard. And do you see these little arrows? Just take one of the arrows and pull it to make it smaller. It's just like how you do it on Design Space, but you need to make sure that you're holding the word control or command on your keyboard if you're using a Mac. So then I'm just going to go ahead and shrink these down. Now see, I wasn't holding control. I wanted to show you that. If you don't hold control, do you see how it messes up your um, like uh, scale? We don't want to do that. So if you do that by accident, just hit undo, hold control, and then move your little design. You can make them as big as or as small as you want, but I do recommend going fairly small with these just because it will load into your design space a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and shrink them all down. You can resize them once you're over in Design Space, so don't worry if you make them really, really tiny. It doesn't matter. You'll resize them over in Design Space. Now, do you see how it keeps snipping and trying to connect to that one? If that's annoying to you, up here in the upper right-hand corner, do you see these two little squares with an arrow? Just click that, and it'll enable you to not have to have them touching. It's very annoying. So then we'll just go ahead, and I'm going to shrink the rest of these. I shrunk them a little bit too small. And we got just a couple more to go. And I promise, like I said, if you're not familiar with Inkscape, this is probably one of the easiest things to do in Inkscape is just to put a bunch of files together that are already SVGs and shrink them down and you're good to go. So there's all of our sunflowers. Now what I want to do is I'm going to click File, Save As, and I want to save this. I'm going to save it into a folder that makes sense. So I have a floral folder. So I'm going to save it into my floral folder and I'm just going to call it Sunflower Bundle. That way I know what it is. Now you can save it as an Inkscape SVG, so just click Save. Now we'll go over to Cricut Design Space. Over in Cricut Design Space, click Upload, then click Upload Image. Click Browse, 
and you're gonna find where you put your sunflower bundle. So remember we put that in our floral and we called it sunflower bundle, so it's right here. Now it's gonna tell us that the image is large and it may take a moment. I am hopeful that with some of their updates that this may be a smoother process in the future for them. So now that we have this all loaded, um, all you have to do is click upload. You don't have to do anything else to it, it's ready to go. Again, this may take a moment, so don't fret if it's a little bit slow. But again, we are hopeful that with the new updates that this will be more advanced and they'll be a little quicker. Now that you have it up here in your recent uploads, go ahead and select it and click insert images. Now again, it might take a minute to load because there are quite a few pieces to this. Once it's loaded into your Cricut Design Space, you have all of the SVGs that you needed or wanted, and you don't have to use everything from the same bundle. You can use however many you want. But what I'm gonna do is say I only wanna use two of these. I'm gonna click the word ungroup, and what I'm gonna do is go through and remove all the ones that I don't want. So I'm gonna keep this round one and this one here. So I'm just gonna go through and remove the ones that I don't want. Now you have the two that you wanted and you can resize them however you want to, whatever size you want to make them. And then all you have to do is click make it. Once you've clicked make it, you'll see that you have all of your different images. Now you may need to do some of the color sync because they're not exactly the same color. You can see they look really the same to us, but they're not. So if you wanted them to cut in the same color, just go ahead and hit cancel. And I'll show you color sync. Color sync's really cool. So up here in the upper right hand corner, if you click color sync, you'll see that you have these two browns that are different colors. If you just want them to cut on the same color, just drag one up into the other one and you're good to go. They're gonna cut on the same color sheet. Now they're pretty big, so that's why they're gonna cut on um, different sheets. So if you wanted to move them, just go ahead and click this. Um, these little three dots in the upper left hand corner, click move object and select the mat that you want to move it to. Click confirm and for some reason I don't know why but it didn't want to do it so we'll just make it do it ourselves. It did the same thing here with the brown and I'm not really sure why. It may just be a flaw in Cricut Design Space but this is a great way to teach you guys a quick little trick if you want to fit more stuff on the mat. So then I'm just going to click move object select the brown mat again and move this over so that it fits. Now you are gonna have to move them a little bit and this is probably why it won't put them on the same mat. Do you see how if it's lined up perfectly straight and perfectly straight, it overlaps? That's likely why it's putting on a different mat, but you can see that we can get it to fit in here and just use one mat. We just have to angle them a little bit. Cricut Design Space does stuff so that it's gonna cut straight squares out of your vinyl to help save vinyl. So keep that in mind if you're doing this, but you can easily move them around. Then you only have to cut three different mats. I'll reiterate again that Cricut has said that we will be grandfathered in if we have machines that were purchased before December 31st, 2021. But I still felt like this hack was needed, especially for anyone who gets a machine after 2021. Or it just makes sometimes, if you're doing multiple SVGs, it just goes a little quicker to upload them all at once. And now that we're gonna be able to have project collections, which is basically being able to organize your projects into folders, this may be a great way for you to upload more bundles, keep them more organized, and that way you're not gonna have a million different files. So I just thought this was still pretty important to show you guys. So I do hope it helped you guys. If you have questions, please let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. I'm so excited to be able to share all of my Cricut knowledge and crafting knowledge with you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.